everything stopping has really created a much broader issue. First at five, we are learning new details about the scope of the troubles at the closed Austin Police DNA Laboratory. 80% of APD's case backlog is made up of DNA waiting to be tested from sexual assault cases in Austin. 80%, that's nearly 3,300 cases. To put things into perspective, that's more than all the other crimes waiting for DNA analysis combined at APD. That includes homicide, burglary, robbery, theft, assault, and miscellaneous crimes. The backlog is the focus of Austin's Public Safety Commission meeting happening now at City Hall downtown. KXAN's Brittany Glass talked with some community advocates who hope with a better understanding of the problem they can figure out how best to move forward. We've known, but we didn't know how much. Amanda Lewis works for the Survivor Justice Project and has been a member of the city's commission for women the past two years. Lewis says the extent of APD's DNA backlog problem is far worse than she expected. It's astonishing. It's shocking. Um, and it's unacceptable. APD released this data showing the overwhelming majority of the department's backlog is made up of DNA waiting to be tested from sexual assault cases. Nearly 3,300 of them. Lewis says it sends a disturbing message. That number sends to survivors that you're just going to wait, that, you know, you're not the priority. Lewis says it's difficult to know whether the problem has ever been this bad because we've rarely gotten insight into the numbers until now. We're passionate about finding a solution, but we have to start by really getting the facts, and I think we're starting to do that right now. What she knows for sure. What makes it worse is the fact that we don't have a, a lab open right now. We want this to be a city that does things better than you know, what's the norm? I think a lot of cities do have backlogs, um, but, you know, we want to be a model. We want to do it better. Brittany Glass, KXAN News. Lewis says APD's efforts to contract DNA lab work with outside agencies are a good sign, but says the city is too large to operate without a lab. What that lab looks like and how it's monitored remains to be decided. Three months before the DNA lab closed, a freezer inside the lab was broken for nearly a week, with temperatures reaching nearly 80 degrees inside. The freezer held evidence from nearly 4,300 cases. But according to APD, 98.5% had already been analyzed. But evidence from 65 remaining cases still needs DNA work and are part of the testing backlog. Since the freezer problem, APD says DNA from 13 cases has been sent to other labs for testing. Four different laboratories have looked at the evidence, and so far, no quality issues have been reported. We just learned.